entity? Well, BBC News understands that the man who has become known as Jihadi John, the man who has stood in many of the Islamic State videos with a knife as the hostages, some of the hostages were beheaded. BBC believes he is called Mohammed M. Wazi. He is a, a man, we believe, from London, uh, around 27 years of age. We don't have a lot of details about him. His name has been known to uh, the security service and the police in Britain, the FBI as well, for some time, but hasn't been disclosed for operational reasons. Now, Lucy, he has been shown in uh, many videos, of course. Uh, we are going to show you a short extract from one of those. You may find this uh, disturbing, but it is so that you can hear his voice again. So let's watch that. Today, your military air force is attacking us daily in Iraq. Your strikes have caused casualties amongst Muslims. You are no longer fighting an insurgency. We are an Islamic army. This man, of course, Lucy, one of the world's most wanted men, wanted by many countries. Well, of course, I mean, those videos, terribly, terribly disturbing for the families and everyone else who saw even short pieces of them. Um, he was called Jihadi John uh, because he was British and there were supposed to be four men in Syria who were given that nickname because of the Beatles. As I say, the BBC understands he is Mohammed M. Wazi. Um, what we understand about him, uh, and there is little, uh, we don't know full details at the moment, but that he was in some way on the radar of the police and security service in the UK before he went to Syria. We believe that he is linked to a man who was at some stage on a control order. That's uh, those who are suspected of terrorist activities but uh, haven't uh, been through a court case and potentially linked to a man who was on a control order linked to the Al-Shabaab network in Somalia. He is linked to people who travelled out to Kenya and then on to Somalia, British people, who were then brought back to the UK and questioned um, by MI5. Some suggestions that that group that he was linked to, um, the Al-Shabaab group, did have Al-Qaeda affiliations. Uh, we don't know about him, but these are the people he, he was associating with. And uh, we should just remind uh, our viewers, of course, Lucy, that uh, he has been seen in videos uh, with the hostages, including Britain's uh, David Haynes and uh, Alan Henning, also with uh, Americans, with Japanese citizens. That, that's right. In, in, in the very distressing beheading videos, uh, this man, Jihadi John, who we now believe is Mohammed M. Wazi, he is standing there and he talks to the camera. He is there with a knife. He has uh, issued threats to British governments as well and he has in a way become the figurehead of this um, barbaric so-called Islamic State movement um, of the killing of hostages. Jihadi John has, has been the figurehead, has been this British man and obviously the authorities have been aware of his name for some time. And yes, there were reports going back a number of months suggesting that uh, the authorities, the intelligence agencies were aware of his name but didn't want to make any particular moves on him at that point because of the risk to hostages. What do we know now about efforts to capture him? Well, he is obviously, it is still believed in Syria. I mean, I have to say I don't know any more details about his movements in Syria. There were press reports before that he may have been injured. I'm unable to, to verify that. What we do know is that there has been a strong effort by uh, the police and security service here and in America to try and learn as much as they can about this man. And that has been going on for some time. And, and certainly I think the question might be asked now that this is someone who it seems was on the radar before. So how much did the authorities know if he was linked to someone with a control order? How much did they know about him before he even went out? Uh, Lucy, how confident are the intelligence agencies that he actually is the individual who has carried out the beheadings of these hostages? I think there is an issue about whether he has actually carried out the beheadings himself. Uh, I think that is still something that they are trying to develop, whether he is actually just the figurehead or is involved in the beheadings himself. Um, I don't know the detail on that. The, the detail I have at the moment is that certainly there has been an ongoing um, operation to try and find out more information about this man.